back at you with another video on the Army National Guard, man. And this is some things that I wish I would have known before I joined the Army National Guard, okay? So, as you guys know, or probably you don't know, but I am in the Florida Army National Guard, which means we have a lot of hurricanes here. So, more than likely, when a hurricane comes, we have to respond to it and help out civilians, help out the city that needs help, you know what I'm saying? Passing out water, <clears throat> building dams around electric plants, all that good stuff. Saving animals, cows, horses, tigers, you know what I'm saying? That's what we did. So it is 2022 right now, and we just had Hurricane Ian in Florida, and uh, kind of along Georgia a little bit, but I don't know. But if you know Hurricane Ian, it did. It was a moderate hurricane. It was okay, but mostly tropical storm. But anyway, well, we got activated about a week ago, and I'm just gonna tell you how the last week has been and kind of the cons of joining the National Guard. Stay tuned. Roll a jig, smoking dog, can't go to sleep. It's about four. Roll One day I was looking at. So me, as you know, I am a business owner myself. I own two businesses. I have just started up a trucking business and I was looking for a cargo van for my trucking business on last week, someday. I think it was like Monday of last week. I was looking for a cargo van. Just came back from the dealership because they said that insurance doesn't start new insurance policies two days before a hurricane and two days after a hurricane. So that's something you guys should keep in note, keep in mind. Can't start an insurance policy two days before or two days after a hurricane. So I couldn't get the van, so I went home. As I was driving home, I get a text from my sergeant saying I had to report to drill at eight o'clock in the morning. And I'm just like, bro, 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 bro. I gotta take my granddad to the doctor, bro. Like I ain't got no type of notice. Like you're literally giving me a 10 hour early notice. Like what type of junk? So anyways, I kind of got away with coming in late that day. But either way, I had still had to stay. And I still didn't, because, you know, it's only my second year in. I didn't know what I had to go in for. You know what I'm saying? So, I goes in. And it turns out, you know, we're on hurricane orders, state active duty orders. Now, state active duty orders is different from active duty orders or regular drill pay. You get what is called one muda a day. And on a drill weekend, you get four mudas. So, pretty much... As an E4 myself, I am an E4, not an E3, okay? I'm an E4, I just don't have my patch yet. As an E4, our pay is around $80 a day plus the $20 state active duty pay. So we're making about a little bit less than $100 a day after taxes. And, you know, $100 a day to pretty much work 24 seven or a minimum of 12 hours a day, okay? So in the Army National Guard, we had some people stay at the unit. Oh, John, you can't even see it, but you know, the building is over there. Some people stay at the armory and some people went on missions. And these uncomfortable, uncomfortable Humvees, bro. Like it's no, it is no cushion in these Humvees. There is no armrest in these Humvees. The only cushion is the driver's seat, Browski. Only cushion is the driver's seat. But we went on a mission to, um small city called Wachala, Florida to build a dam around the electric plant that powered the whole small city. So that was a seven hour convoy, guys. Seven hours because these vehicles only go up to 60 miles per hour. And with some vehicles kind of failing, kind of down, not the right proper maintenance, we were going about 45, 50 miles per hour the whole time. So it took seven hours to make a four hour drive, guys. And the thing is, if you are a family person, if you have family, or if you have your business, the National Guard might not be for you because of the fact that you can get pulled out anytime for your state um, orders that you might have, or the two weeks out of the summer, the two weeks annual training, it could mess you up. Because say you're a business owner and you're in charge of people's money, you're in charge of taking people here from there so they can feed their kids, now you can't tend to your business because you're gone for two weeks, two whole weeks on this active duty orders or annual training. So it's something to think about. Also, what kind of got to me was the fact that they told us we were gonna be gone for two to three days, 
but they said pack for seven days. So they pretty much just lighten the punches before they deliver the blow. That's the army way, guys. They told us we were gonna be gone for like three days. We literally got there the first day, did 12 hours of work nonstop. We worked from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. after a six hour drive. So they worked on building that dam for 12 hours plus the six hours. So that's 18 straight hours of just working plus the six hours of work. No food, guys, because we were just working. No food. And that's how the army is sometimes when you got to get a task done. So you got to get the task done. There is no quitting. They're going to throw manpower at any situation. OK, so if it's something that requires an expert, the army is going to throw manpower at it and expect you to get it done. And you better get it done. You better have teamwork and you better come up with something, some type of solution to get whatever the task is done. So after 12 hours, we got the Tiger Dam build. I'm going to put a picture in it to show you kind of how it looks like. And after that first day down there, we literally did nothing else for the whole entire week, but sit and another uh, armory, um, National Guard armory that we wanna, you know, just, you know, National Guard helping out National Guard. Um, the first night we slept in a civic center um, with other like, you know, policemen and state troopers. And the second night through the second week, we slept in the armory and like a classroom. And then towards the second to last day before we came home, before my unit came home, I'll show you the picture again. There was a lot of soldiers staying in that armory. It's about 90 soldiers, guys. But anyways, that's how the National Guard kind of works, especially if you're in Florida or a disastrous state, you know, California, wildfires, wherever you are. Um, you might just get pulled out for a week or two unexpectedly. And are you gonna be able to take care of your kids in that week when you're gone from home? Are you gonna be able to run your business in that week when you're gone from home? So that's just something you gotta think of before you join the National Guard. Active duty, totally different. You pretty much sign your life away. There is no having a side life, side business, or you barely can have a family active duty, you know what I'm saying? Because you're gone literally all day you know from five o'clock in the morning to seven o'clock at night you get home you can probably look at one tv show then you gotta go to bed you know what i'm saying wake up do it right again so you know i take my advice you know probably active duty is might not be for you but if you have nothing going for yourself if you are single you know active duty might be for you you know what i'm saying it's just a full-time job at the end of the day and then National Guard, you might get pulled out unexpectedly. You got the two weeks out of the summer. So if you do have your own stuff going in your personal life, two weeks out of the summer that you might miss. And anywhere from two to four months gone on a mission, like a state emergency mission. Because the last hurricane that we had, Hurricane Michael, I believe was the name. They said they were gone for three months, guys. Three months in the field, gone from home because of the hurricane was that serious. Okay, so with that being said, please take into consideration what you do in your personal life, how your schedule matches up. If you join the reserves, you're not gonna be getting taken away from home unexpectedly, okay? All you have is your drill, two, uh, one week in a month and two weeks out of the summer still with the reserves, but you don't have to take that risk of getting pulled out. Also, if you're in school, it might not be a good thing for you but you can say that you're in school and not have to go on these active duty orders when they have state emergency. It is a way you can get out of it, but most of the time you're gonna get sucked in into doing it. And if you have your own life, the military might not be for you. I just wanted to let you guys know that because I didn't know that, but I did know it. I just didn't care about it because you know, when I joined, I thought I was going to college and I thought I was just gonna be a regular person. But no, I started two businesses. I got a lot going for myself. I need internet. I need to be, you know, aware of what's going on around me. So that's just something I wanna let you guys know. If you have any questions, hit in the comments. If you wanna see any more videos on information about the National Guard or the Army, put it in the comments. Text my Instagram, link right there. And it's your boy King Lada, and we out.
Also, before we end the video, man, if you want to know how to make money online the easy way, if you want to get, if you're in school, if you want to make money by selling your college assignments online, by writing, making courses online, if you want to know how to make money in the crypto market without doing any work, hit the link in the description. Join my ebook store, join my Patreon, and I'll teach you how to make money the easy way, anywhere from a thousand to five thousand dollars a week, guys. And it's not capping. This is serious. You can learn how to make money the easy way, the fast way, the legal way, and I'ma teach you. Hit the link in the description. And it's your boy King Lada. We out. You talking money, want all of it, please. I pull before got me stuck in a dream. Oh.